Hey, I'm Sandy, and I'll tell you my story. I give you advice on why you shouldn't get married too early in life. I tried an early marriage and would not recommend it to anyone. I first fell in love when I was in high school. I was 17 and Jack was 21. He was already in college long ago. He was a waiter and dreamed of becoming a professional cartoonist. Even though I was still in high school, I look pretty grown up and attractive. Obviously, this is how I got his attention. It seemed to me then that he would be my first and only love. Jack was a really nice guy and always acted like a gentleman and did nothing rude. He loved me in a beautiful way, as in true love novels. He was like a knight in shining armor. He was incredibly flattering. We walked around the city holding hands, and everyone was melting with tenderness when they looked at us. Parents have long wanted to meet their daughter's boyfriend. They were fascinated with him. He came that day in a suit, with a big candy for mom and a bottle of wine for dad. He looked very elegant and sleek. By the way, I was scared that they would leave me there were so many older girls who would not mind such relationships. But Jack loved me and took care of me the whole time. When I was 18, he asked me to marry him. He said he was afraid I would walk away from him. My parents were very surprised and asked not to rush, as teenage marriages rarely lead to something good. But we were in love. Jack's parents approved of the idea. They even bought us a new house as a wedding gift. It was a big wedding with lots of guests, in a wonderful big restaurant. That's what his parents wanted, I didn't. I was a beautiful bride in the most beautiful white wedding dress ever. It was a day to remember. Months have passed quickly, I didn't get to study for college my parents didn't help me much. And they're thinking, if I was smart enough to get married, I should be smart enough to figure out how to cook and do laundry and iron. I barely passed the exams and went to college to study psychology. However, after our first year of my marriage, nothing seemed beautiful to me anymore. I got terribly sick of the routine. So, in my first year of college, I realized that I was starting to get sick. This time for real. I often vomited. I was worried. Then I went to the hospital alone and found out I was pregnant. There was nothing terrible about that, it made sense because we were married. But at that moment, I wasn't ready to have kids at all. I wasn't even sure if I wanted to stay with Jack. I went to the abortion application. I don't know how our mothers found out about my pregnancy, but they set me up to break the idea. They said that they would help and take turns to sit with the baby, and if I did not agree, they would have crossed me out of their lives. Then Jack came back. He announced that he had a good job that would be enough to support the child. So I had to come to terms with everything and become a mother. I'm 20 now. I have a husband, a child, a home and a potential career. We have two great dear grandmothers who happily sit with their baby, and Jack treats me like a queen. What's more, he makes a lot of money, and we can afford trips, trips to expensive places. He also recently bought me a brand new car. But you know what? It's just not that and I hate my life so much. I do not love my husband, I can hardly stand in his presence. I'm really happy when he's late for work and when he's off on a business trip. I get horrified when it touches me. I didn't want it, I didn't imagine our marriage that way. The only good thing about this is my child. If it wasn't for him, I'd be divorced a long time ago and forget about it, like a nightmare. I'm left to be unhappy all my life, is there any hope for me?